Hey everybody, this is Pamela Coey. I live in Hamilton, Montana. I'm one of the Painting with Fire uh, instructors, and I feel so grateful to Laura Murphy uh, to be one of the instructors. But uh, this video is a little different. It's not going to be uh, so much about painting or how to do this or that. Laura actually had asked me to do this video um, explaining how it is that I manage, you know, life, family, love, art, all those things. And I know that this is a topic that pertains to everybody out there because we're always trying to manage juggling so many different things. And we're wondering like, how am I ever going to fit everything into one day? And so in my case, I run an online art school at artandsuccess.com. I absolutely love to teach. I have two upcoming exhibitions in 2024 that I'm working toward. I'm doing two live workshops, one's in Santa Fe, one is in Ireland, Mulroney, Ireland with Laura. And I'm very excited. And I hope that if you're an encaustic artist, you might want to come join us uh, toward the end of September. And you can look at her website or look at mine at artandsuccess.com under workshops and find out more information about it or contact Laura. So, uh, Aside from all of that, what prompted this video really was that in addition to our family, where we have two sons who are married, one of our sons has two daughters, so we have grandchildren. And my husband and I, we've been married for over 40 years. And being grandparents, um, for any of those out there who are also grandparents know that um, it's really special. And you don't want to miss a moment when you have that opportunity to be with them. We're not always able to see them, but they come visit us. We come visit them. And what I found is that, um, you know, we try to, I try to incorporate art or creativity into like almost everything I do. I also love to garden. I love to sew. I have a lot of like other things that I enjoy doing. So how do you fit all of this in? So what prompted this video that Laura asked me to do is that in addition to all of this, we added to our family two new mini schnauzer puppies and a kitty. They all came into our house at about the same time. You know, things just kind of happened and uh, we were hoping to get uh, some more puppies because our two older schnauzers are now about 13 years old and they're at that age where they can mentor the puppies or so we thought. And so now we have five total pets. And being an artist and uh, having all these things on my plate, I thought, gosh, am I, am I a little crazy to be doing this right now? But what I want to share with you is that um, I think what's happened for me is that sometimes the more things on my plate, it forces me to become more efficient, more productive, and not procrastinate. And it's just one of those things where I, I've really thought a lot about this because I actually have become more efficient. I've now been able to make more of 10 minutes than I ever would have before. Like 10 minutes, I can't do anything. Actually, now it is at 10 minutes, I can do a lot. And that in itself has been a great learning thing for me. I want to share this one book that I have that I'm sure a lot of you have already heard of it and read it and own it and all those things. But even in our membership group, Art and Success Pro, um, we have gone through this book and many of our students have said, yeah, I, I, I'm able to do this and that now. So in this book, Atomic Habits, James Clear outlines how to make good habits irresistible and bad habits impossible. And it really works. It's a step-by-step -step process, uh, very detailed book and lots of exercises to help you improve everything in, in your life. Uh, doesn't matter what uh, what area of your life it is, whether it's art, your family, you know, all of your hobbies. It's it's all about making better use of your time. Um, and I, I hope you'll enjoy that book. What I'm going to do right now is just show you some images and, and videos of what my life is like right now. It's been a little crazy for sure, because as anyone knows who's had a puppy or a new kitty, especially bringing it into a family where you've already got other pets, there are a lot of pet dynamics that happen. You don't really know what's going to happen. You don't know if the pets are going to get along with each other. You don't know if they're going to like each other, you know, and then there's all the potty training and um, just making sure they're happy, they're safe, they're having fun with each other and that they have a lot of joy in their lives. So, you know, uh, I guess what happened when we got these puppies is that they became my primary priority 
in that I needed to make sure that they were safe first in the house. They didn't come in my studio for at least a month. So I didn't really, I wasn't able to do any art for about a month. And I knew that that was a commitment I was able to make um, and do other things uh, in the house that were creative, but not in my studio. So um, just, just let me open my studio to you and just open my life to you a little bit and share, I guess, any tips I might have. And of course, I'd love to hear about your own tips below this video because everybody has tips. You know, I, I, I'm just like flying by the seat of my pants all the time. That's the way my life is. Um, but I find that sometimes, yeah, when it feels jam packed, I just have to become more efficient. And the main thing is to procrastinate less, become more organized. And these two things have really made it possible for me to do all the things that I love and uh, keep my priorities relatively straight. Not perfect, but I try to keep them straight. So let me just um, take you through what it's been like over the last couple of months with these new puppies. We've now had them for a couple of months and um, it's been quite a journey. Stay. This is my external garage studio and I'm just gonna do a quick pan around. You can see we have lots of snow. There's our house and our pickup full of snow, beautiful mountains, um, love where we live. As you can see, it's the middle of winter and we love to feed the birds as well. Uh, note to self, getting puppies and a new kitty in the middle of winter is not the easiest time to do that. Right now in my arms, which you cannot see, is my little kitty and you'll see him in a second. His name is Yona and I'm carrying him in my arms. This is the pet menagerie. We have one more older schnauzer in the house, but she doesn't like to be in the studio. She never has. And so this is Frida. She's our little female schnauzer. This is Vincent. He's big brother. This is Pablo. He's the young little boy. And I just brought Yona in. Yona has his cat litter kind of hidden. Um, okay, puppy, that's Yona's, and hopefully only he will use it, but I've seen things happen. I uh, just wanted to also scan around my studio here. I'm in the process of, like, I used to have tables along the left wall that you're looking at right here, and um, I just, after getting these pets, I decided that if I'm going to function in this studio, I need to make it more pet friendly, not only safe, but they love to, these dogs love to run around. And so let me just show you. It's in a chaotic state right now, but in an effort to make things less chaotic, more efficient, and kind of easy to um, get to what I need to get to. Well, first of all, here is the pet corral area, and I'm leaving it open now because the dogs are pretty well potty trained, but there's no pet door here. So there is a pet door in the house, but not here. So one idea I have is to clear out that corner that I'm showing with all the panels and stretcher bars and put a pet door there that leads into a little corralled area so they can be responsible for going out on their own. Right now I'm taking them out every like, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. So one of the things I did yesterday was I stretched this big canvas. It's uh, seven feet by I think four feet. And so not only is it one of the you know few canvases I've ever worked on, let me move this out of the way. It's also the largest piece I've probably ever done, but I wanna keep working on it. I need time to look at it. The thing is when it's not stretched, you can't really see it because you see all the, the, you know, three and a half inches all the way around that aren't done yet. But I just wanted to show you that like along these walls, I need to clear all this stuff away, get it up off the floor. One thing I realized when I first moved in here from the Grange, which was larger, is my floor space is like, it's so important to me. Uh, it impacts how I feel. And one thing we're doing in my Art and Success Pro Group is we're going through Atomic Habits by James Clear. And that's all about how you set really good habits. Now you can see how cluttered everything is because I'm in, in the process of redoing everything, rearranging things. And like this encaustic little table used to be up against the wall. And this was my main encaustic table. This used to be against the wall. And what I did this morning was I got uh, these banker boxes that they, they needed to be the same 
height when they have their lids on top so that I can take my palettes and take them off this table and put them on a level surface, which is what these boxes are. So they're kind of a platform. And then I'll clean off this table. And the reason why is because this table now is going to have a dual function. Instead of it being a dedicated encaustic table, it's now right here, excuse the mess. <laughs> and it's accessible to where I do my recording for other mediums, like I do acrylic, and I do cold wax and oil on a smaller scale, and I need a table off to my left to kind of store things, and then I've got garbage cans below the table. The tables are elevated. They've got these little wheels with uh, the, the PVC pipe that elevates the table, and I can roll these tables around. I really value anything on wheels because it means that I can move them as I need them. So my carts, like I have one that's dedicated for drawing materials. That would be this one here. Everything's labeled and there's three levels. So I love that. It's easy to keep organized and I can, I can move it any old time like this. It's, it's easy. And then this one here is more for acrylics and uh, you know water-based media. So there's some inks on there. There's some high flow acrylics and acrylic based brushes again on wheels i love my carts and then i have other carts like this also on wheels and my husband had to put these wooden bases on because the cracks in the floor were so huge that the wheels busted off and so these are a little bit heavier duty wheels and less likely to break off but um, my rnf pigment sticks I've color coded the drawers so I can get to those at a glance. And then this one here is my oil paints. Again, color coded and easily accessible. Here's my studio all cleaned up for the new pets. And they're really enjoying it. When I don't bring Kitty into the studio, uh, the kitty's not very happy and the puppies aren't very happy. So they're kind of the three musketeers. I'd say that I've made some pretty big improvements for them and for myself. And I guess that's the beauty of, you know, when you have something new in your life and you have to make things um, more efficient, it forces you to think really hard on what that would be. And so I moved all my tables away from the walls. I've got a central core. That's where I do most of my work. And as you can see to uh, further make things efficient so that I can make the most of even 10 minutes is I've got things that are really accessible. My paper towels, my mark making tools, wipes, gloves. The tools I use the most like my, for collage, my gel matte medium, uh, hand sanitizer, the roll of paper, my sandpaper, and then a nice clear space uh, in front of my camera. That's where I do my recording, and my cameras are above. The location of the cameras is kind of important now because I can just move that stand over here when I'm working in caustic, whereas before I had to have two totally separate setups or at least the stand I'd have to have a second stand and move the camera equipment over so this makes more sense sometimes it just takes time to work in a studio before you really find out the very best way to do things and then I had uh, a shorter smaller table that I've lowered to its lowest height so that if I'm recording I can put a lot of things on this table that are within arm's reach tables were collapsed and now I have a lot of wall space for when Willa and Reese come to visit they were just here they did this masterpiece and they really had a great time doing it. And as you can see, all the pets are in here right now. Frida, Pablo, hi guys. Do you like it in here now? Do you? Do you like your racetrack? Look at your racetrack. You have lots of room to move around. And that was really important. This unencumbered area where they can run and have fun, play together. Before, it was just such a cluttered area. They, they didn't even want to move around, probably for fear of what they might run into. There's Cornelia. She's pretty comfortable in here. She's one of our older schnauzers. And there's Vincent. He's another older schnauzer, big brother. Uh, the other big thing that I did was 
put in a pet door here. And so that's really great. I have to keep sweeping it up because it gets kind of dirty. Uh, it leads out into a grassy area that can be muddy sometimes. But basically, they have a way out now. They can let themselves out. They are all potty trained. And, um, and then as far as keeping our kitty, Yona, uh, from getting up these stairs, as you can see, I've just got panels there. And they keep him from going up to the top where I have storage and packing material. And I just don't want him to get stuck up there because he can get up, but he probably can't get down too easily. So there they are, we're all set, and I think I can start painting again. Um, it's just been a few weeks when I've had to really um, spend a lot of time getting my studio organized and get the pets trained, and of course that's a lifelong effort, but it's been a lot of fun. Right, Frida? Frida? Hi, Pablo. Oh, there's Yona. Can you sit for mom? Can you sit? Yes, yeah, sit, Frida. Yes, nice. Good job, guys. Say bye to everybody. Bye-bye. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that.